we as humans we always want to feel comfortable we, we always want to feel satisfied you never want to feel like you're in pain you 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 connotate the feelings of being dissatisfied and feeling pain and uncomfort you connotate that as a bad feeling you don't want to have that feeling you don't want to have that feeling of being dissatisfied, being uncomfortable, doing uncomfortable things, being in uncomfortable positions. But in this video, I'm going to change your mind and I'm going to make you thrive for dissatisfaction. You might be wondering, why the hell would you want to feel dissatisfied? Wouldn't it be more logical to feel satisfied and to always feel like you're comfortable and just feel happy, right? Like the the feeling of being happiness and content with your life comes from satisfaction comes from comfort but that is actually not the case comfort and satisfaction will be the downfall of you it'll be the reason why you will never level up in your in your life and you'll never make progress dissatisfaction however works the exact opposite way the more dissatisfied you feel right now the more uncomfortable you feel right now the more pain that you are in right now will in turn result in you having a more successful and more fulfilling life as you go through. How does this work? Well, let me explain. Let's say that you are completely comfortable in your life right now. You have an average physique, but you know, you're still comfortable with it. You're in school and you don't find it hard, but you're not happy with it. But it's it's like you you're not happy, but you're still comfortable. It's like you would you would much rather have something much more. You'd much rather have no studies at all but you're still comfortable with school so you have an average physique you're comfortable with school and you have average friends as well your friends they you know they're not the best friends in the world in fact they're pretty bad but you're comfortable with it you're just like yeah you know what we have a couple laughs every day I'm, I'm comfortable with my friends this is the reason you feeling comfortable will be the reason why you won't make any progress in life because let me flip it the other way now Let's say that you are completely dissatisfied with your life and you hate your circumstances. So you hate your physique. You hate the fact that you're in school and you hate all the assignments you're getting and all the people that you're surrounded with. You hate your friends and you're just not feeling like you, you're feeling really uncomfortable. You're feeling a lot of pain and you don't like the situation that you're in. Now, people, a lot of people, 90% of people would rather have the first life that I just said life where you do feel comfortable and you do feel satisfied and you don't feel much of those symptoms of pain but some people this 10 percent of people would select the the other option that i just said where you're feeling uncomfortable you don't have good friends where you don't actually like the situation that you're in when it relates to school and when it relates to just whatever your family your physique i'm gonna ask you this question right now you, chances are you've most likely seen one of those like body transformations, you know, like that, you know, like those body transformations where like the, that one guy's like really skinny and then he has like a full on body transformation in like five years. He's like completely jacked Greek God physique. Have you ever wondered to yourself why every time you watch one of those videos, why does it always start off with a really skinny person? Why does it never start off with an average person who turned into a really good physique? Why is it always skinny? Why is it always a really obese person who has an amazing transformation? Why is it never the average person who builds an amazing physique? It's because that skinny person felt so dissatisfied with the body that he was with. He felt so much pain that he ha he knew that he had to change something. And that is why he spent the next five years of his life committed to the gym and built an amazing physique. It wouldn't have happened if he felt satisfied. If he felt satisfied with his body and he was like completely fine with, you know, just being average, skinny fat, 20% body fat, he would have just been like, okay, whatever. And he wouldn't have spent five years of his life committing to the gym. He, wouldn't, he would just be fine with it. He would do nothing else. But those skinny people, those really obese people who hate the way they look, they are the ones who make the change. They are the ones who literally think, I fucking hate the situation that I'm in. I want to change and I'm going to change. And they do it. They, they spend, again, the next five years of their life just absolutely committing everything they have to the gym. And then they build an amazing physique. Now, the second question I ask you is, 
do they stop there? Do they just think, okay, yeah, now I'm satisfied with this physique. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to stop going to the gym. I'm never going to go to the gym because I'm satisfied with the way I look. Do, does that ever happen? No. Every time one of these people builds an amazing body, they still keep going to the gym. You've probably wondered why would they still go to the gym even though they have such a good physique. I'd just sit around and do nothing. Well, it's because they actually still don't feel that satisfied. They still thrive for more. We as humans, we will never have enough. We will always want more than we want what we already have. So you are probably pretty skinny or pretty average and you look at some, you know, Greek god physique and you'd be like, why does he still go to the gym? He's already so jacked. Just be happy with, with what you have. But again, satisfaction leads to downfall. If he, feel, if he felt satisfied, he would eventually become really skinny again. He would start losing his gains because he would stop committing to the gym. This works with every single other aspect of your life. This is why I'm looking forward to being dissatisfied. I'm currently in college right now. And honestly, I don't really like it that much. I'm getting a lot of assignments, a lot of studying. There's so much stress involved. And I'm, you know, I have to go sometimes seven hours a day. And it's, it's annoying. I hate it. But I'm not, being, I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm instead gonna use this energy of dissatisfaction to free myself from this life. I'm not gonna just be like, oh yeah, you know, I, it's, I'm still satisfied though, it's still college and college is great. You can just like, you have free breaks and you can go out and go to McDonald's or go to this and you know, you can go to the shops. No, I'm purposely, like every time I have a break, I sit alone and do my assignments because I want to feel the dissatisfaction of going to college. I want to feel more pain so that I will use this energy that I have of dissatisfaction and I'll use that to my advantage. Like 99% of other people are not going to do that. I'm going to do that and I'm going to become financially free. I'm going to make more money than 99% of people. And it sounds, it sounds egotistical. I sound like I'm bragging, but this is, this is the key. You can't, if you're comfortable with yourself right now, if you're indulging in comfort and pleasure, you're not going to get anywhere. You need to feel the symptoms of pain and dissatisfaction to get to where you want to be. The life that you want, there's a wall. There is literally a brick. Let's just imagine like a brick wall. And it's, it's, it's in between you and the life that you want. And that brick wall is just complete dissatisfaction, discomfort. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be satisfying to, you know, go through, um, go through life and get what you want. No, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. You just have to accept that and use that energy to do absolutely wonderful things and get to where you want to be. Really think about what I said. Really just think about it. And I hope I have changed the way you look at happiness and discomfort and satisfaction because you'll never have enough. You'll always want more. And if, if you feel comfortable with what you have, you're never going to get ahead. So yeah, next time you feel kind of, you feel pain, you know, you had a bad day in school or work and you just, you, you're just like moping around and like, oh, today was a bad day. I hate, to, I hate today. I hate my life. Just think that's good. Just think, yes, I want more of this. I want myself to have a mental breakdown. I want some more, I want more negative emotions and feelings just literally plague my mind. And I literally want a moment. Uh, some of you guys might have heard this, it's called the fuck, the fuck This Event. I want a moment where I literally just explode and just think, fuck this, I'm changing everything because I cannot live like this anymore. Strive for that. Don't think it's, don't try to avoid it. Don't think it's something like, I don't want to, I don't want to have mental breakdowns. No, go for it. Feel, do anything in your power to feel that. And I guarantee you in five years, you'll thank you past self for feeling those emotions. I guarantee you. If this video helped, please consider liking and subscribing. It's free and it's a win-win for both of us. Thank you for watching.